hello hi guys welcome back to the channel i hope you are not doing great i'm also doing good so today i came up with one of the most interesting and very frequently asked interview question in designing rounds for all data engineers which is nothing but designing a wall app data model for retail store so in this example i just taken a dmart as a retail store so usually whenever you get any sort of such question how we need to answer i can explain you with the step by step process so that you can able to create for olap data model for any use cases okay so without wasting our time let's get into the video so first we need to understand what is the olap data model so olap data model it actually involves identifying the business use cases creating the fact and dimension tables and creating it as a star schema or time snowflake schema and their relationship for the analytical purpose right so in this in this video i'm going to explain you the step by step process how we can create the dimensional data modeling for olap use cases and how we going to solve the problem right so the very first step here was identifying the business process so what is mean by the business process so we need to understand the business process so what is mean by the business process is to see the redmart retail store so what is the retail store and what sort of the i mean what, what is the transaction in the retail store which is nothing but purchasing or sales right sales so what is meant by the sales a customer we have some stores and we have some products and customer visit the store and they can buy some products by paying some money right so that is nothing but a transaction so what transaction it has so the sales transaction so we need to clarify the same point with the interviewer as well so that we can get to know what is the business process okay so to know the business process we can also get a clarification with the interviewer so next we need to understand the what is the business use case so in this example i have taken the retail sales data warehouse okay so what we are trying to do as part of this business process is we need to analyze the sales performance across different regions product categories and time periods and also we should find out some questions so that our data model should support to answer those questions right so as a first step we need to identify what are the business related questions right so the first question would be what are the total sales revenue and the number of product sold per region and the second question will be which product categories are performing well and third one what is the sales trend over a time it might be weekly or monthly the next one who are our top customers by revenue and quantity right so you can get this question from the interviewer or you can you, you can yourself can post such a question and get get a feedback from the interviewer is that questions are relevant or not so to answer all these questions we can create the data model and that data model should give the report or generate the report to answer these questions right so that is about identifying the business process so in this business process mainly we need to identify what is the transaction either it may be sales or it may be order processing so in the next step is we need to declare the grain of the fact table so what is mean by the grain grain can refer that what each row will be referred in fact table okay what information that each row in a fact table should contain right so to know that we need to get the uh, invoice or receipt right you see in in this case dmart invoice that i have taken as an example if you take this invoice you will get a lot of information so some information about the store some information about the customer and some information about the tax related information and some information something like a bill number bill date cashier and many other details right so along with that it do has other details something like a id or the what is a product and what how many quantities it will be and what is the net rate and what is the total value and it will be listed number of products here so a total we'll get the total number of items total quantities and total price and if there is any discount we'll get the discounted price so something like that typical invoice right so we need to assume this invoice declare the grain for our fact table so the simple trick for this one is we need to select the lowest grain lowest grain so that we do not lose any data so that we'll be in a position to answer any such business uh, questions right so in this invoice the lowest grain is the product if you seek one product how many quantities it will be what is the net rate and what is the total value so we'll get all this information right so each row in my fact table will refer one product sale information so like how we can declare the grain next we can go for the next step so that third step is identifying the dimensions that are relevant 
right so we need to identify all the dimensions that are relevant to this use case so the simple trick for this one is we should ask all these questions like what what was happened and when it was happened how it has happened where it was happened and why it happened right so to answer all these questions you'll get all the dimensions like for what you'll get like transaction right so we'll get like products and when we'll get location and the time how it was happened through customers and why and where it was happened in the store and also why it was happened through employees right so like this we'll identify all the dimension simple trick here is we need to ask all the questions like what when how where and why so to answer all this question you'll get all the dimensions so the next step step 4 will be identify the facts for the measurement like what are the facts that you wanted to measure as part of this use case as you already know that fact table can contain only the numerical data numerical or measurable data right and dimension table will contain the description about this data description about this numerical data right so as part of this fact table what are the measurements that you wanted to measure that you can identify so in this example the measurements are something like what are the units sold and what is the total revenue and discounted amount and also we can add something like a profitable amount too what is the total profit on this transaction okay right so these are all the measurement facts that we should add it to our fact table right so now we identified the facts grain and the dimensions and also the fact measures now we see how we can create the data model with all these things we just need to establish the relationship between the fact table and the dimension table so usually we can go first creating the star schema right so i hope everyone know about the star schema where it has a fact table in between and it is surrounded by the dimension tables right so this is the fact table and each fact table will be pointed to each dimension table will be factored to into table this is fact table and this is dimension 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 and dimension right so we'll first go with the star schema if still some of the questions were not able to answer by this star schema we can still go for the star, uh, snowflake schema as well right so now we can see how we can create a data model now you can see on the screen right so this is how the typical data model that we can create like it has all the dimensions like customer dimension and it has all the information like customer id name email and all other information about the customer similarly store dimension like what is the store id store name so city state region and who is the manager and next the product in the c and the product id product category sub category what is the price of that product and who is the supplier right so similarly we can have a date dimension like date day of week we are week of num uh, week of number and month quarter year uh, right so all that information similarly we have a employee uh, like who is the cashier like who is the cashier id his name his title and it's when he, when he was hired right so and if you see the fact table it has all the foreign keys of all the primary keys of dimension tables will be added as primary or foreign key to the fact table right and along with that the measurements what the measurement that we have identified in last fourth step that is nothing but unit sold total revenue discounted amount and profited amount right so this is how the relationship that we can establish right so one record from the dimension table will be referred to multiple records in the fact table the same you see the relationship it is 0 to 1 0 to 1 0 to 1 all the dimension tables and it will be many relationship to the fact table right so this is how the dimension model typically looks now we can see how we can answer the business questions whether this data model can answer all the business questions or not right so typically what happens during the interview when you created the model to try to take the feedback from the interviewer and he will add uh, the changes or you will uh, you know you will uh, change the changes or you uh, you'll give some other uh, feedbacks on top of your data model so try to take that uh, feedback and try to redesign your data model to support according to the uh, requirement that given by the interviewer so that you'll be in a position to answer that uh, business uh, questions otherwise you will not right so don't think that it is bad that you can create a uh, you know change the data model don't think that it is like a collaboration work okay so now we can see how we can able to answer these questions you see the very first question is what is the total sales revenue and the number of products sold by the region right so it's just simple like we need to join the fact table with the dimension table and the store id store id and we'll give the store region and sum of 
total revenue and sum of total sales so that can give you the total sales similarly if you see which product category are performing well you see that is on the product category you can group based on the sales and the product we can join product and sale fact table and group by product category and sum of total revenue and total units sold right so similarly if you see on the what is a what is the sale trend our time right so you see that is on month year and sum of the total revenue and uh, this will be joined between the sales table and the dimension date table and the date id right so group by month and day year so likewise we can answer all the questions even if you see the fourth one it is like who are the top five customers by revenue like we already can sum up the revenue based on the fact table and we can join fact table with the customer table based on the customer id and based on the group by the customer name and sum up with the total sale revenue we can answer this question as well so likewise we first we need to identify the questions according to that we need to follow that four step process to create any dimensional or overlap data model we can arrange it in a star schema or snowflake schema data model then we can try to answer that question so mostly we get will be able to push we will we should be in a position to answer all such questions right so if you follow this four step process you can able to uh, crack any sort of questions so i'm keeping really lot of effort to bring this lot of content to you guys so please give a like and uh, comment and subscribe to our channel thank you so much we'll meet in the next video